Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a uh, a scam that I guess you could say is still going going on that I actually fell victim to that I, that I actually fell for my smooth brain ass. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the game Sea of Stars and and a and a scam that has recently been uh, circulating the game itself. Now I just want to make a click a, a quick. Disclaimer: This whole scam has n is in no way connected to the actual game developers of Sea of Stars. This scam is in no way connected to the game itself. Anybody associated with the game itself, Sea of Stars itself is an actual actually a pretty good game from what I've seen. I actually got a hold of the real beta. You'll understand what I mean later. Um, but I got a hold of the game. Uh, this scam, to the best of my knowledge at least, has nothing to do with the actual game Sea of Stars or anybody who is associated with it whatsoever. Uh, but basically, the gist of this whole story basically there is this group of hackers this group of uh of scammers that's going around specifically targeting uh, small youtube channels small content creators where basically these scammers will email uh these small content creators i'd say anywhere from 5,000 to like 10,000 subscribers of these channels are being targeted i've i've seen uh several channels around me go down because of this scam uh and i'm honestly like looking back i'm actually pretty surprised that I fell for it, but I, I, I guess I just never received an email like this, but uh, basically the gist of the scam, sorry that I keep going off topic, is that uh, th these scammers will email small content creators pretending to be executives or or ARs or developers of the game or, or or you know the the advertising unit for the game Sea of Stars or the company that produces it. I forget the name, but they pretend to work for this company that is working on the game Sea of Stars, which is set to release in 2022. Uh, it is set to release in 2022, and the beta is out, which is part of the reason probably why I thought it was believable. Uh, I'm not nearly the only one who's fallen for this. I've seen many channels around me of similar sizes uh, drop left and right, and I'll get into the exact details of what happens to these channels later on. It happened to my channel, and a, a few of you guys were around for that, and I'm sorry for any for any of you who who, who saw the videos uploaded to this channel uh, that were not uploaded uh, not uploaded by myself. So these scammers contacted me via Gmail, uh, basically, essentially with this advertisement deal or this promotional deal, where they would send me a beta version of their game in exchange where I did, uh, you know, some sort of advertisement. Uh, there was an option for, you know, a pre-roll advertisement or an integrated video where I would literally, literally just make a gameplay video on my channel and they would send me X amount of, of money. Uh, and I agreed to this because I fell for it. I contacted the developer via WhatsApp and I actually can't even provide you the screenshots of the conversation because it is, the person deleted their fucking account. But I slightly reluctantly agreed. Uh, I told them, you know, you give me a certain amount of money and I'll make this, I'll make this uh, eight, 10 minute video for you. Uh, just send me over the game and, and then, and then we can leave it at that. And after I fell for the scam, after I got my, my YouTube channel back, which I'll explain later, uh, why I literally almost lost my channel. Uh, after I got my channel back and everything was solved from this whole scam, uh, somebody literally emailed me again with the exact same scam. This person says, greetings, your YouTube channel is perfect to promote our new game. And so we would like to work with you. What do you think about this offer? This, this message is a proposal of cooperation with an independent game studio, Sabotage Studio, uh, which will release a new game called Sea of Stars in 2022. All information about the game is available on Steam and you can check it out. At the moment, we are advertising with more than 1,000 channels on YouTube. That's why we're hiring you. If you are interested in this cooperation proposal, you can reply to this message and we will discuss the price. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll definitely get to work. That's right, Sabotage Studio. Now, I want to make a, 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 another disclaimer. This is not actually from Sab Sabotage Studio. As you could tell, with basic use of common sense, uh, a professional gaming studio would not put heart emojis in the subject line of an email, especially for an advertising opportunity. I'm just gonna point that out to you guys right now. And another thing is when you see, if you get an email with, that is already in your spam folder from an address, an email address that looks like this, it's a fucking scam. If it's not from the company's email address or a gmail.com address, with the exception of, of Google, because they have uh, certain certain variations to their email address, th there might be some exceptions to this. But if it's from something like, like, for example, I got this 
advertisement promotion deal uh, or, or opportunity from ZTE. Uh, it's not from fucking ZTE. It's from some, some fucking ZTE posing company that wants to scam my ass for something else. I don't know what the fuck they want, but it's a scam. It's a fucking scam. And uh, ZTE dash, like what the fuck is, what, what even is that? If you go to these websites that, that the email address, uh, you know, at the, the, the email address, if you go to the actual website, within the email address, uh, it either doesn't fucking exist or it's the site for some weird fucking spam, scam, weird ass shit. Okay. So these people emailed me and, and the, 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 the screenshot I just provided is the second time this has happened to me with, with a slight, slight variation in wording, um, from a different email address as well. So after I agree via WhatsApp, these people send me this promotional brief, okay? It seems pretty legit when opening it, and I guess I didn't realize, you know, I, I, I guess I didn't rub my two brain cells together after receiving this promotional briefing that wh why the fuck on earth would they send me this, like, like over WhatsApp? with a with some fucking archive zip file but you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you guys anyways this is sea of stars a retro inspired turn-based rpg promotional brief sea of stars is a turn-based rpg inspired by the classics yeah nobody gives a fuck target audience children from 16 year old men women content creators gamers and streamers sounds fucking legit people uh, the main aim of the video to intrigue the audience with the release of our game the tone of addressing the viewer energetic no pathos just humor cheerful. I mean, most advertisements are like that. So again, this just seemed legit to me at the time. Uh, wishes for the design of the advertisement, native gameplay, be sure, be sure to show the product itself. Uh, timings for the advertisement, pre-roll integration, 30 to 50 seconds, dedicated video, five plus minutes. The estimated production time for the video in the planned budget term, three to 14 days, but budget was by agreement. Uh, we already discussed that via WhatsApp. And then there's this uh, click to download button here, which actually does download an archive zip file that is filled with Trojans, ladies and gentlemen, it is filled with Trojans waiting to fuck your PC and gather all of your passwords, ladies and gentlemen. I am not even bullshitting you. I, I unzipped this, uh, I, 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 uh, the first time I, un I unzipped the file, uh, tried to open the game and lo and behold, it took me to a black fucking screen. So I'm like, I just got scammed, didn't I? And I tried it over and over again. I tried, you know, uh, running it as an administrator, all this shit. It never opened. The game was nowhere in this, in this it doesn't exist. The game exists, but it was not in the file they sent me. This was clearly, but by the time I had extracted the file and learned that the game was nowhere there, uh, and, and it excluded the fact that maybe there was just something wrong with, with the, with my PC. Um, I, I then came to the conclusion that I'm, I was just scammed and, uh, now there's no going fucking back. Uh, but, uh, I downloaded it again on uh, using a virtual machine, and a after examining the file, there are, there are Trojans all fucking over the place. Some of which were not even detected by basic Windows firewall, which kind of surprised me. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, make sure to avoid this promotional brief like the fucking plague. Uh, if Sea of Stars is going to go out of their way uh, to promote their game and 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 you know ask people to advertise it, they're probably not going to ask somebody with a thousand subscribers i mean maybe maybe but they're definitely gonna not gonna ask from a fuck some fucking email address that takes you to a website that looks like this like no so the night that i attempted to download this game uh, i contacted the developer on whatsapp uh and, and i say you know why isn't the game opening? The game's not opening for me. Um, is there a possibility that you send me like a corrupted file or something like that? Or is there a piece of, of I don't know, is there something I'm missing? Is there something I need to, if, is there something I need to run the game on or over? Uh, this person either deletes their account or blocks me or something like that, like a few hours after me sending this. Um, so honestly, I, w I was tired from work that day. I just went to fucking sleep. When I wake up, my YouTube channel is run awry with GTA 5 mod pack videos that were not posted by me. I wake up and I see this shit all over my channel with thousands of views and a, and a, a whole bunch of botted comments, ladies and gentlemen. The, the, these videos were just a bunch of fucking videos, right, with GTA mod menu gameplay and like comment after comment after comment with these fake positive reviews 
of this mod. And whoever had, whoever actually got into my channel, the individual who, or, or group of people who uh, got into my channel, uh, I have a, a, a this small amount of followers or subscribers that like actually pay attention to my content or have actually been around for a while, like act an actual like dedicated fan base. There's a small percentage, right? They, they notice uh, that you, this guy must have been hacked. And these people commented under the video saying, dude, uh, you must have gotten hacked. Bro, bro, this guy got hacked. What the hell? Uh, what the hell happened? And all these people, when I eventually got access to my channel back, the, these people's comments were all hidden and they were actually hidden as commenters. Whoever was in my channel uh, hid, my, hid the people mentioning that this was a scam or a hack. They actually went and hid these people from my channel so nobody could see their comments ever again. And I unhid them, obviously. Uh, shout out to you guys, by the way. Uh, shout out to the people who actually DM'd me on Instagram because I didn't even know about it. And it actually took me like a whole week long period of trying to contact YouTube, YouTube running an inve investigation on my channel, uh, exchanging information with Google about IP addresses, device names, uh, where I'd been and where I'd logged into, uh, logged into my YouTube channel within the past few days. Uh, past week, I had to exchange all this different information. I had to give them my IP. I had to tell them uh, which devices uh, I that are, are actually mine. Uh, some motherfucker from Ukraine, which which is where this I assume this. Or, I mean, people can, people can run fake IP addresses, but according to what I've seen, uh, this the scam was being run from Ukraine. I'm not going to show their information because then this video will get taken off of fucking YouTube. I wish I could show their IP address, but I won't. But uh, uh, several hours after. After my my channel, it wasn't just my YouTube channel. It was my it was my entire Google account that was hacked, which actually contains AdSense as well. It also features AdSense, and luckily AdSense was not tampered with. I went back to it; everything was the same, nothing was touched. So thank God for that. Thank thank God these people are too smooth brain to like actually do anything damaging uh, to anybody's accounts. I wake up and I'm signed out of all accounts on all devices except my PC. And I've talked about this once on my channel before, and, and I actually ended up deleting that video. So sorry if, I, if, if I'm repeating myself to like 20 or 30 of you people out there because that video was only live for a little bit. Uh, but I was logged out of every single uh, device in, it, from my Google account, except this PC that I'm that I'm looking at right now. Somehow, I was still logged in on this PC, and I was actually able to go into my YouTube channel and delete the videos that were posted. Uh, I already showed you, for, for the most part, what they looked like, because you can actually see these videos posted on other people's channels, because other people are, fall, are, are falling to this scam who might not have the resources or tools or know how to contact YouTube in such a way. Uh, to, to the point where they can get their stuff back. A lot of people are, are, have, are having this happen to their channel and they're never getting it back. So after like a, a week, I would say, of just filling out all this information with with Google, um, I, I eventually gained access fully back to my YouTube account. I had to completely reset all my information because this person who had gotten to my account, they had, they had reset my password. Before changing the password, they somehow turned off two-factor verification or whatever it's called. And then after changing the password, they turned it back on, which prevented me from getting in anywhere else into my account. Uh, this person changed all my security questions, changed all the uh, contact info associated with the channel, you know, all the recovery info to the point where if I want to recover my password or change it, it sends the text to whoever is hacking my account. Uh, so if, if I were to hypothetically hit, you know, the to reset my password button, it would just go to an email address or a phone number that was not mine, that was associated with this hacker that got into my fucking computer. I, I guess basically the gist is whatever Trojan uh, uh, files were in this, were in the Sea of Stars virus uh, somehow got a hold of passwords uh, and things like that. Uh, unless it coincidentally simultaneously happened in some sort of detrimental data leak by Google itself. Um, this is this is the only other possibility, really, and this is ha and this has happened to several other people as well, not just me, as I've mentioned many times in this video already. But fuck me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm very glad I got my channel back. It was a long ass fucking process of fighting this fucking hacker who kept trying to sign into my fucking account. Uh, luckily, YouTube secured my account, but even after I gained access to it, I they still had to continue their investigation, uh, which made my account very susceptible to being 
completely shut down again because in the process of me getting it back they had to completely log me out of it as well just so they could try to get to the bottom of everything uh, but as soon as i got my account back it was it was under very thin ice or fragile conditions like if i fail the password attempt uh, a certain amount of times google probably would have uh locked my fucking account again or i i can't say for certain but it, 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 it was those kind of conditions and with, with all these people trying to get into my account I, I, I thankfully got it back, uh, but I just received an email again a few days ago from the exact same fucking people trying to do the same thing again, as, as if they think that I'm some sort of like, when it was some sort of like Scooter Fortnite kid who's actually going to fucking fa fall for this shit. Like, I'm not a seventh grader, even though I, I did technically fall for it already. But I just wanted to make you guys aware of this whole scam, because it is still going on, obviously. Uh, if you look up, oh, fuck, I forgot the name of the mod. When I remember, I'll put it in the text below. If you look up this mod, whatever the fuck, uh, you're, you'll likely find a whole bunch of, of hacked YouTube channels too, where, where they have like two or three videos about this mod posted. And then everything else uh, prior to those videos is completely different. Like me, I've never posted a GTA five mod video in my entire life, especially one with dialogue that is not my fucking voice. Uh, like, it's kind of obvious. When, it's kind of obvious that when you're able to see which accounts have been hacked. Like, maybe, maybe there's like one or two channels on the entire surface of YouTube who have actually genuinely posted this, these ads for these mods. But the other hundred or other thousand videos are all from hacked YouTube YouTube channels. And I luckily one in a fucking hundred chance actually got mine back but uh yeah ladies and gentlemen that's that's just about how you came this close to never hearing from me again after like fucking seven years of of being on fucking youtube uh almost got that shit taken away but i i beat the scammers i guess again have no idea how i fell for that looking back it seems really fucking stupid to me but whatever I've learned from my mistake now, and I'm never accepting an advertising deal ever again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video.